got my, uh, I think it's like a 96 Kinetic. Oh, you can probably tell right here by looking at this. Uh, 96, yes, Kinetic moped, uh, 50 cc's, um, made in India. Um, I actually uh, picked this up and it wasn't running. Uh, I was able to do some work on it, get it running, uh, but it still has some issues. Uh, this little thing that holds the wiring in place uh, needs to be screwed back in. It's just missing a, a bolt or a screw. Um, the most recent problem it has is the petcock valve was uh, was clogged with debris from the engine. Like this is a '96; it was bought new. I bought it from the previous owner, the who was the the original owner. Uh, and they kind of left it outside, and obviously now the the inside of the tank is um, not in the best condition. So some of the debris clogged up the petcock valve. Um, before I before that though, I obviously changed out the fuel line, cleaned out the carburetor. Um, and this fuel filter should catch any debris that comes past the uh, the petcock, um, but uh, it runs like a dream. It also the chain busted, so I'm actually right now I'm running it without a chain, without pedals. This is a moped, so it should have pedals on it. I've got the pedal, I've got one pedal, and I've got the crank. I don't have the sh the uh, the chain or the uh, the other crank arm for the uh, the pedal. So I've only got one crank pedal with the sprocket on it. Uh, you'll need to get a new pedal if you want to actually treat this thing as a moped. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool moped. Uh, it's got, you know, a, a keyed ignition system. It does have a headlight and blinkers. Uh, this, this blinker broke. This blinker is broken, but I taped it together. And look, this one's broken. So, you know, they're, I don't know, if you rub up against them the wrong way. In this case, it. Uh, some of the boys in my neighborhood tipped this one over. And, uh, yeah. Took a little damage up there. Um, so because it doesn't have pedals, um, I actually basically push start it. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll get on it and just start pushing it. Um, and I will uh, show you how that works here. See if I can figure out how to hold on to this while I, while I do it. Sometimes it's sluggish off the uh, off the line, and I think it's sluggish just because uh, the the petcock valve may have been clogged, or maybe the carburetor might need to be cleaned out a little bit better. But all in all, it's a good ride. Uh, I think this thing will kick you at about on the flat somewhere in the 25 to 28 mile per hour range. Uh, but I'm sure you can tune it to get up into the 35s or the 30s. So the best thing about this moped is that it's uh, it's relatively new. You know, it's a 96. Most mopeds that you'll see are are older. Um, so it does have some of the newer stuff on it. You know, blinkers, a key. Uh, it does lock. It does have these awesome mirrors. Trying to grab one hand of this a little bit uh, dangerous. really clean, uh, idles well, uh, I do have the covers, the covers are chaining and stuff, for both sides, so we're going to that it will be covered, uh, to kill it, just flip the switch, or you can turn off the ignition, uh, lights work, horn works, everything works on it, it's pretty, pretty nice little moped, so if you have any questions, let me know.